talking about freelancing. It's a really cool technique hack that I uh, discovered about a year ago for myself. I've been completely obsessed with it and every time I post a picture on Instagram using a freelancing technique, a lot of you guys ask me questions about it and want to know all about how to do it. And so today I finally decided to make a video about it. So first I'm just going to explain what is freelancing and it's a technique when you're going to take your camera and your lens and you're not going to put the lens in the camera and you're just gonna kind of hold it like this and then tilt it to the sides up and down to kind of shift your plane of focus uh, this technique is done to imitate a tilt shift lens which is extremely expensive and just not something that I would personally invest although I really love the look so freelancing or lens whacking whatever you want to call it is a really really great alternative to a tilt shift lens and a tilt shift lens is usually used in architectural pictures or landscape pictures street style pictures things like that but i personally actually really really love using it in my own feminine portraits because i'm a big fan of bokeh of blurriness of lens flares and this is something a very cheap lens which i'm going to talk about about the lens in a second but you can achieve the same effect for really really cheap so to understand freelancing a little bit better you guys should think about your plane of focus as one line let me just I'm gonna try to explain it like that. So you can, you should think about your plane of focus as one line. And right now, in my camera, it's just focused on me. So this is how, how the line goes. Everything that's in line with me is in focus. Everything that's before me like this is out of focus. And everything that's behind me that's also out of focus. And when you tilt shift, you will change your plane of focus like this or like that or like this or like that and when you tilt your lens to the side like this everything now just on this line is going to be in focus but everything else is going to be out of focus so if you tilted the lens a little bit like this now only my mouth is going to be in focus my forehead is going to be out of focus and here is going to be out of focus as well if you tilt this way then only this is going to be in focus like this whole line and then everything on my sides is going to be out of focus it's going to be a little bit easier to understand once i show it on actual pictures or on actual videos <laughs> But again, it's really, really cool technique and it just brings a lot of character to a pretty usual picture. Also, I think that freelancing is absolutely amazing for cinematography. I love shooting videos and I actually posted one video here on YouTube. I will link it down below. You can watch the whole video yourself and I will definitely put clips in this video to show you guys how the freelancing works in cinematography but it, it, it's absolutely amazing now let's talk about lenses and this is a very very important step to freelancing you gotta make sure that you choose the right lenses and I've experimented with two of the most popular free, freelancing lenses and I'm gonna tell you which one I like the most so I originally had the let me find it I originally had this lens, I bought it a very long time ago because this was the cheapest Canon lens I could find and this is a 50mm 1.8 Canon lens I think, well when I bought it, it retailed just for $100 and you can buy them used for even cheaper so you can really score a lens like this for like $50 I think that's awesome so the only problem I have with this lens is that the band 
that connects kind of the, the lens to your sensor is pretty thick. So whenever you don't, whenever you have the lens out of your sensor, um, it becomes, it's kind of hard to wiggle it around and it's kind of hard to get it a little bit closer to the sensor and the further it is, the more macro it becomes. So the issue is that you will be able to shoot only really like close up portraits uh, and it's kind of harder to do a full body image with this particular lens. Now, the lens that I actually like a lot more is a Nikon lens and this is a 50mm 1.8 so the same kind of thing but this is a Nikon lens and what I like about it better is that as you can see it's a lot thinner than the Canon lens and it kind of fits the sensor a little bit better so you can get a lot closer to it and with this lens you'll be able to get the full body shots a lot a lot easier um, it is a little bit heavier than the Canon lens so I guess it's a little bit more challenging to kind of hold it with one hand and free lens at the same time this one is lighter so it's a little bit easier but I got used to this one really quick and I prefer the sharpness and just the overall quality of this lens a little bit better. And this is another great thing about freelancing is that you can use lenses of different brands. It doesn't have to be a Canon lens if you have a Canon body because you don't have to actually insert the lens into the body. Um, you just hold it up to the sensor. So. I would actually really really love to experiment with some film lenses. I think that would make a shot even more interesting and I'm definitely gonna do that in the future. So a few other tips that I have while freelancing is to use your live mode when you do so. It's just gonna give you an overall better grasp of what you're doing in your camera rather than looking through the window like that. Um, so yeah, go ahead and put it in the live view and set your lens and also what I always like to do is to align those red dots here at the top for some reason it makes it focus a little bit better and then you can just go ahead and freelance just um, go ahead and do it it's really simple and it might seem kind of complicated and kind of weird but the more you experiment with it you're gonna find your pace and it's gonna get a lot a lot easier for you to do at first I didn't get any good shots but I just kept on doing it, experimenting with it and then I kind of realized how to properly hold it and how to kind of roll the manual focus at the same time and now I'm a pro at it and every single time I use this technique I'm always really really happy with the results. Another reason why I love freelancing is because I can create really cool light leaks uh, with this technique and all you have to do is just let some light go through the sensor of your camera or just straight into the lens. You just position your model uh, so that she's backlit and then so that the light goes straight into your lens and you're set. You will get really really cool images. I've done this before and it works every single time. Now you might think, why would I do this whole thing if I can just easily achieve the same effect in Photoshop? Well, actually you can't. <laughs> and that's what I used to think when I first saw the freelancing shots. I didn't even know that they are done using a tilt shift lens or freelancing technique. I thought that they are just done in Photoshop where you just blur whatever sides of the pictures you want. I tried to do it myself and it never came out nice, it never came out as cool as those other pictures that I saw on the internet and only then I kind of googled it up and um, I saw that it's actually done using freelancing technique and to be honest the results are quite amazing, you will never be able to replicate this kind of um, effect that it does in Photoshop. So I hope you guys liked this video, I hope that it was easy enough to follow and understand and if there's still something that you don't get, don't worry, just pick up your camera, undo the lens and start freelancing. And as I said, it might not work at first um, or it might just seem very hard but trust me, just keep doing it and you're gonna get good at it. It's like anything else in photography, if you're starting 
to use a new technique you might not be good at it at first but a little bit of practice goes a long way and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get some really really cool results and if you do don't forget to share those results with me on Instagram or Facebook I really enjoy seeing all of the pictures that were inspired by my videos and I will put some of those pictures right now in the video just to thank you guys for watching my channel and my videos and supporting me it means a lot and again I just really really enjoy seeing your work also I wanted to thank all of you guys for 10,000 subscribers it's a huge number and I couldn't be happier I'm also going to be doing a live stream this week and more information is going to be posted on this channel soon also on Instagram and all of my social media so look out for that and that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more and I'll see you guys in my next video bye